Hello, how's it going? My name is Hotsasi and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time we have built this more uh, production facility so we can uh, put them in here in this chamber in the hopes that up here we can have our second attempt at a puffed farm uh, because the first one which is down here not so successful so hopefully up there we will have more success with our puffs uh, however we have not yet come across any uh, pots. Uh, eggs that we could put in here so uh, that we would be able to populate this farm. And with the things, how they are going, there is one more animal that we can farm on this asteroid uh, before uh, introducing or importing the last one from outer space and uh, I'm aware in the space out DLC and this is not the, the space out DLC uh, there are more animals and more animal variants uh, than we have here so basically once we manage to get the puffs in and the moose and the shine box because that's the next project um, we are done with this series but let's figure out how to do the shine box first because that's probably the, the simpler things to do and maybe along the way we come across some uh, some pops eggs uh, that we can then put into this form and for the for the last animal uh, i think there we we really need the, the hydrogen uh, rocket uh, and for that uh, we need to have a, a proper setup uh, here uh, and for that we need a bit more uh, insulated pipe that we can lay see here for the hydrogen we basically have everything that we need but for the oxygen we still need uh, a few tons of it so we can properly uh, fill that into the rocket as well but let's take one step at a time and figure out the uh, situation for the shine box we have a wrench set up for our shine box and all that needs to be done is figure out what we want to feed them if we have a look at what they what they actually eat um or well for the shine box there are quite a few variants as you can see here and most of them uh, they can feed on phosphoride so that's probably one of the things that uh, we want to add to the diet um, phosphoride here as well then for the royal one Probably if we would feed them different things, we would have a better chance of getting some of the more rare ones. But as you can see, they uh, consume uh, quite uh, the, the high quality food there. So phosphorite. And here we also have refined phosphorite. And refined phosphorite is basically phosphorite that was liquefied and then resolidated uh, on this one we have 
only the refined phosphorite but we also have some some other options here and then on this one uh, we only have diamonds and barbecue so i think what we will do is um, Phosphorite and then what's this one called? Radiant Bug. Um, and Barbecue. So we should have enough meat uh, for that. And then, of course, here. We want to put in those, those, and those. And then we will have to see if we can find some, some eggs. Uh, what we also could do is just open the door as we have a feeding station here if a shine bark by accident wanders in here they tend to uh, to linger around this this area so there we already have one do we have down here we have some more and probably once we have them domesticated um, then they will produce more of the eggs and we can get quite a bit of uh, a, a shine bark population in here mm, probably not all the variants that they are that there are uh, but we will just have to see how far we can we can push this and while that is going we are pushing things here on top further so that eventually we can also fetch us those outer space animals for the last ranch that we need we are good on our way with our uh, shine nymph egg and all the variants also currently we, we only have uh, shine box oh we have sun box they look pretty similar but we will we will see until the end of of this series how many variants we we can actually get in here and as luck has it we found ourselves a, a pufflet prince egg so that's definitely good to have uh, have in here and if we can also find some uh, puffed eggs that will also be great because then we have an, another farm going here um, on, on this side uh, as well but for now the the focus really is on getting those space materials uh, so we can uh, build the insulated pipes and then replace the rocket engine with a uh, hydrogen engine so we can reach out further asteroids and actually bring back um, material from from there even with the setup we could fly out further than than we do uh, we uh, currently uh, only go through uh, these 20,000 uh asteroids this one this one and this one and then we cycle through because from there we get fullerene and is a resin which is what we want 
but the ultimate goal is this one uh, which has a gassy moo uh, and uh, we want to bring that back but in order to do that we need a bit of lift power for our rockets uh, because we uh, need to have uh, one of uh, well I could show you um, we need to have uh, one of these pots and they are quite heavy so they require a bit of, of lifting power to get there and back but we are on our way and it's uh, as most of the time only a matter of exactly time all right and then let's soldier on and see uh, what happens here with our puff farm uh, once this egg hatches i think it's time to wrap this episode up boys and girls uh, we do have one sun nymph uh, egg so uh, we should expand uh, the uh, variety of our uh, books and uh, down here I also have added an egg cracker uh, to get rid of any surplus eggs that that we get there uh, let's take the iron uh, the, the steel here and in our um, in our uh, puff wrench we have uh, the, the, the prince has hatched not yet fully grown but we have one puff here uh, which is not yet close to dying we also added a bit of automation uh, so we can get uh, rid of any uh, slime that is put out and uh, drop it down here um, where we can then properly store it in there because we don't want to have the slime evaporate everything and uh, yeah I think that's it for today uh, we have one more animal to arrange, so I'm not sure, because in order to get there, that's probably a long way, I'm guessing 500 cycles, um, and probably not happening between episodes. Uh, so maybe I will have an intermediary uh, episode with just a bit more progress, fixing up on things, extending our solar array, or it will just take a bit longer. So if that's the case, you know why it's the case. So you will have to just tune in and see. Goodbye.